Well, hey, YouTube! It's Elvis Ammo here. Hey. Alright. So, if you seen my last video, I was installing the temperature controller for the fine PID controller that Johnny's Reloading Bench had gifted to me and Mr. Fortune Cookie 45 LC. Um, well, so now I'm putting it through the test. I've got it filled up with lead. I just turned the temperature. I had this turned up to around 900 to start with uh, just to get the, uh, the lead melting. And now I've got this set at 756 degrees to get this lead melting. Uh, we know that lead melts at uh, 621 or something like that. So 621, 622. So I have it high enough to where it's above the temperature. So when I dump my sprues inside the pot, the temperature will will rise and fall, and then the PID controller will control the temperature to kind of where I like, I believe. Uh, if I remember right, Fortune Cookie showed his. Uh, he was running his at 752 degrees, something like that. Well, I have mine set at 756, um, and uh, you can see the temperature is slowly creeping down. I thought I'd go ahead and get this uh, get this project started. So, uh, this if you haven't seen my other video on how I connected the PID controller to the lead 420 pot, you'll need to re you'll really need to see that for this video to make sense. So if you're interested in hooking up a PID controller, um, uh, what Johnny had done is uh, uh, he had hooked up this uh, this temperature gauge. You know, it would normally plug into here, and then you would hang it inside the pot and um, so this experiment that I'm going to do today we have this installed right into the pot and what we want to know is will this temperature be the same as the temperature from the temperature rod temperature gauge that we suspend inside the pot so what I'm going to do to use to uh, complete that experiment is I'm going to plug in my spare that Johnny so graciously sent me with the pot and uh, and if this project works out people who have these PID controllers that they're making um, or buy-in or however they can actually follow my instructions from my last video my VR video response to Johnny's Reloading Bench and to Fortune Cookie 45 on how to install this directly to their pot so we don't have these suspended so they won't be in the way so we can dump our sprues and um, we like things as simplistic as possible so now enough chatting because I haven't even checked this myself you're seeing it right here with me I want to know is it going to be the same temperature as we're showing right now you hear the pot it's pulsing so it's trying to hold it near this temperature right here it's set at 756 so it'll go down one more degree and um, and then we're going to plug this in and see if uh, well I'll tell you what I'll do for right now I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in and let it start coming up the temperature and then I will immediately unplug so I'm gonna go ahead and put this right on in here and um, so it's uh, suspended all right that looks good right there we'll let that sit right there 
I don't want it to flip out of there, so I'm going to leave my hand on it. And then we're going to plug this in to the PID controller and see if it's the same temperature as it's showing right now. So I'm going to give it just a minute. We're at 757 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it and just see what happens. Alright, we're going to plug this one in. And it's showing 793 degrees. Alright. So, okay. So the temperature is about 30 degrees more. Let's go ahead and switch this back out. I didn't expect that. So, all right, now we're we're uh, we're back in from the one that's in here that I installed. So now um, the question is. Um, can this be calibrated so now this is showing 755 there's about a 30 degree difference so now the question is can it be calibrated and the next question is can we just run it 30 degrees less <laughs> and not have to deal with the probe being inside the pot. So there's the question to Johnny's reloading bench. Um, I'm gonna unplug it again. Let me see if I can get this. I'm gonna get this uh, just like everybody else has it because um, I had it sitting on the bottom so let me uh, let me uh, try to gauge this about right so I'm gonna change this so I'm gonna I'm gonna change the position of these pliers right here So that I will have it actually suspended instead of sitting on the bottom but uh, you guys probably know why I set it on the bottom because the heating elements are actually along the side and not on the bottom so I didn't think it would matter but but since uh, since that's the way we're doing it I'm gonna try to match what everybody else is doing I just move that to where I can be just off the bottom about looks like maybe a quarter inch half inch something like that so now I'm gonna plug this in try it again okay so we are there. Now I had the uh, I had the the thing sitting directly on the bottom. Now right now, see my line. This is me plugged in to this temperature controller. This. So let's see what happens if I touch the bottom. All right. All right. I just touched the bottom now. Huh. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I'm sitting on the bottom again. Got it set for 756. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. That's, uh, that's... 
to switch it again. Seems like I'm getting kind of either mixed up or mixed results. Take this back out. Let's try this again. Make sure I'm not crazy. I got it plugged in right so this is the one that's installed into the pot temperatures going back up Yeah, so uh, yeah, so it looks to me like uh, you know we had it right in the first place. Temperature is going back up again on this one, and um, so let's put this one back in again. See if we're at the same place. So I imagine we're just rising back up to 756 um, and then I can either just quickly see if we're at uh, I'll just quickly see if we're at around 420 421. Making it go crazy. Yeah, it looks like there's about a 30 degree difference. Um, so it looks like the uh, looks like the pot is about 30 degrees hotter. All right, I'm going back to this was the one that. So the uh, so the uh, one that we have installed inside the pot is at 735 right now, and I will go ahead and plug this one back in, the one that I'm suspending. 35, 45, 55, about 25 difference or so. Alright, well we'll just see uh, what Johnny has to make of that because that's, uh, that's where we're at. The one that I have suspended right here about a quarter of an inch off the bottom is showing 756 right there and it's going to control it. It's going to control it right there. See? And then we will go ahead and remove that. The one that's installed in the pot will take over. 56, 36. 20 degree difference. Got about a 20 degree difference right there. So the only way to, um, I'm pretty sure that uh, this can be calibrated. Uh, Johnny, you can let me know that. But um, if uh, if I think that I'm running that I'm running hot, um, 
get where I'm at now. Okay. So that's the one. So that would be running, you know, 25, 30 degrees hotter at the temperature that I have it set at compared to the one that we suspend in the pot. See? The one that's suspended in the pot is uh, about 10 degrees from temperature. So now we're 20 degrees from temperature. So this one's going to be running 20, 25, 30 degrees hotter at a uh, running temperature of 756. So, uh, hope you find that interesting. Um, you can uh, let me know what you make of that. But, in my opinion, um, I think it can be calibrated. Um, but, Johnny, you'll have to tell me that. And the other thing is, um, um, of course, by calibrating it, we can put a, uh, a thermometer inside the pot and see what the actual temperature is and sync it with the PID controller. But what we really have here is a wonderful piece of equipment that controls the temperature of our melting pot so that we can run uh, a, a better quality production bullets and um, and know where our temperature is and keep it man this thing really keeps it under control I mean almost to the T Johnny great job fortune cookie you let me know what you make of this and uh, anybody else out there that has these PID controllers you can see my other video on how to install this into the pot and uh, this discrepancy of 25 30 degrees um, for me isn't an issue because I could just turn it down 25 degrees and that'll be just perfect for me so there it is that's the pot that's the PID installed I love it um, and I know that there's a way to sink this temperature to make it um, you know more relevant to uh, or exact to what the actual temperature is YouTube I'll see you in the next video